You may know what you need to do to heal, but do you do it? Let's talk about it. When I first began my intuitive integrative family practice, I asked my mother to help me manage it. She was always surprised when my patients didn't follow the therapeutic plan that we had laid out for them. One day she got a call from a patient who apologized for not coming in on time and really not doing what she needed to do. My mom said something to her that really stuck with me. She said, when are you going to love yourself enough to take care of you? And I realized that helping my patients get their hormones balanced, healing their hypothalamus, getting their diets cleaned up, getting them on a good sleep and activity regimen just wasn't enough if they had a mindset that was getting in the way. Women especially tend to put themselves last. Yet even when you get on an airplane, the flight attendant tells you to secure your oxygen mask before helping others. I believe loving yourself enough to take care of you is key to healing. A few years ago, I had a young woman consult with me. She really wanted to lose about 50 pounds, but I was even more concerned about her high body fat composition contributing to dangerous metabolic syndrome. Yet I sensed that she was not really ready to heal. I dug in anyhow and I found the root of her weight issue. It was a hypothalamic pituitary miscommunication that had really kept her metabolism so low that practically everything she ate was stored as fat. Her blood work revealed insulin resistance, so I prescribed an insulin resistant diet and my simple HIIT exercise just 15 minutes three times a week so she could fit it into her busy life. Plus, I recommended some natural supplements to enhance her cellular sensitivity to insulin to support her fat loss and help raise her metabolism. And then she kind of fell off the bandwagon. She came back the next year and admitted she did not follow through, but she wanted to start again and asked for help. Help implementing her health recovery plan. Now, she was really ready to deal with the deeper psychospiritual roots of why she had sabotaged herself. So we did some soul searching, focusing on the early imprinting she experienced in childhood. While her mother fed her a sugar-laden diet that led to prepubescent obesity, the key was that my patient was unconsciously mimicking her mother's hatred of her own body. She did not know how to love herself enough to take care of her. So we went back to a clear image of her as a little girl and encouraged her to mother that little girl with lots of love, attention, play, and nourishing foods. When my patients start to heal their hypothalamus with Genesis Gold, they also start to crave the things they need, including more nutritious foods, more activity, more sleep, and even more hugs, deepening their relationships, more time to be creative, more alone time. That's because your hypothalamus is the gateway to your subconscious. So anything that gets out of balance gets revealed and your hypothalamus begins directing your behaviors towards healing instead of self-sabotage. I also plugged this patient into a special hormone healing circle. It's a community that really helped her stay focused and give her enough love to do what she needed to do to get healthy because it really takes a village to raise a child. Now, this patient allowed the Hormone Healing Circle to help her parent herself with compassionate support. When she was feeling challenged and reached for cookies for comfort, just like her mother did when she was little, she brought her concerns to the group, and they were there for her in healthy, uplifting ways. She's no longer alone on her healing journey, and she finally started losing weight and kept it off. If you'd like to know more, Check out my Hormone Healing Circle. The link is in the description below. It's not easy learning to love yourself enough to take care of you the way you would take care of a beloved child, but it's necessary for your complete healing. If you choose to join me in our Hormone Healing Circle, I'll be there to support your healing journey. I'll see you in the next video.